So Food Battle 2023 was today, and honestly, I loved it. It was, I mean, I know that's probably nostalgia kicking in, but you know, to see, we're in a timeline now where in 2023, Anthony and Ian are back as a duo, and we had Food Battle. That is insane. So to celebrate this momentous day, I decided to go back and relive every single food battle. It may have taken me like an hour, but still. Um, I have my ranking and I hope that you guys agree with it. So let's get into it. So we start off with Food Battle 2006. And to be honest with you, I would probably put this one in B tier because I feel like for the one that started it all I feel like it's a pretty simplistic overall it doesn't add anything like like uh, well it does add something to the table is the one that started it all it's probably a revolutionary but to be honest with you I found this one kind of boring at times it's probably because Ian and Anthony had such limited capacity of what they can do like I'm tempted between B and C and Honestly, I'd probably go C with this one, but we after that it just goes up from there like we have Food Battle 2007 and This one was actually not too bad. I Do think this is a bit of an improvement because Ian and Anthony had really developed their character characters up to this point and really honed in that these foods in real life can do shit most of the time. Uh, that's probably one of the main selling points of food battle, to be honest with you. But overall, this was pretty funny. Uh, I will say that. I'll put it in like B. And food battle 2008. This one's a goaded one. I I would probably put this at A tier because I do feel like the quality, like the camera quality, improved, and they had more like uh, background characters that they can use instead of just like being cosplayed by Ian and Anthony over and over again. And they really delved into the idea of getting out of the formula of, oh, one dies, and then the presenter s says that, oh, the, the other person won. It's like, just like at the end, when Anthony uses his churro to attack uh, uh, the announcer. <laughs> but then after that, it's like, see, it's just a linear positive line, because through about 2009, this was awesome this was this one was amazing it's super funny especially with like the whole joke of the vase uh from this one man who's you know played as ian and then after a while it breaks like that one was super funny this one is absolutely hilarious i'd probably put this one in s tier and then food battle 2010 the first food battle i ever watched held the, the first smosh video i ever watched i think this one is also a masterpiece and some of the the jokes in this one are amazing and Ian's mom is just amazing in this in this uh, video like Ian's mom in the food battles like whenever she does appear like even when she appeared this year in 2023 she was absolutely hilarious I don't know there's something so satisfying about Ian's mom whenever she's with Ian and Anthony like she's always very hilarious and yeah the callback to food battles 2006 with you know Anthony not drowning is amazing. S tier. Again. I think I'd put it over 2009, to be honest with you. Now then 2011, this one is also awesome. And I, and I love uh, the joke of like, Anthony using his lollipop to go back in 2006. And then this, um, like this one joke of Ian. Like, I'm not even gonna describe it, I'm just gonna show it on the screen. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, it's really awesome. Especially the ending is mwah, chef kiss. Uh, I put it in S tier, probably just below uh, 2010, honestly. And then we have my favorite one, 2012 S tier. Uh, yeah, 2012 was awesome. The, the the beginning and ending of this thing is again mwah, chef's kiss. Ian's mom once again is hilarious in this thing, and the the whole the the amount of clever jokes in this thing is amazing especially the ending of like oh like it's ian one but it's not really ian and it's anthony and ian 
or Anthony. I don't know, that whole thing was really confusing. Yeah, this, this, this food battle is the best one. Fight me. And then 2013, this one was not too bad also, but I feel like it's, I feel like sometimes a food battle felt like it, it ran its course up to this point because they really couldn't come up with like a clever ending for this one. But I do say there are some phenomenal and legendary scenes, especially with like Ian breaking his leg with the beach ball, which has been turned into like a meme. And the one where Anthony um, does this with the gummy snake. Yeah, I'm not really gonna emphasize on that. <laughs> but besides that, doesn't really add a lot of value to the table. And it feels like a real step down after the masterpiece that was 2012. Um, so B tier. 2014, this was this one was really bland. They did not they did not do this in the uh, in the old old house. They did they, they did this in the classic Smosh house, not the one before it, like how they did it in 2023. They did this one in the Sacramento house that we all know and love, but it just doesn't feel right. But the setting is not the issue. It's just there's a bunch of awkward scenes, especially, and then the announcer be winning food battle. That was a bit clever, but. The ending just didn't hit for me. It's like the climax of most food battles is the ending and this one just doesn't really hit for me. So I'd probably put it in B tier just under 2013. Food Battle X, 10 years of Smosh, 10 years of food battle. This one is mediocre. I will say that this one is kind of mediocre. Um, this is probably my least favorite. No, no, this is like one of my least favorites. My least favorite one is probably 2006 because you know it's the it's the blandest one. But this one is also pretty bland, like with the joke of oh burning down houses and all this stuff. I'm not really like a big fan of it, so I'd put it in C tier. Yeah, I went there. Look out! I'm a famous fighter. Get out of the way! <laughs> Good thing my famous Viner abs absorbed the impact. Well, I'm off to make some racist vines. And 2016, it did its job as like a, at the time, conclusion to the series, but you know, of course at the time we felt like, oh, it's like a, a good conclusion, but then it's not, it's like, but I do say, what a clever way to go out at the time with Pink Frosted Sprinkle Donut versus Pink Frosted Sprinkle Donut. I like that, you know, I like that kind of back and forth. I probably put it just right over 2013 in B tier, but then we go back up with 2023. I love this one. Some of the uh, some of the jokes were very very funny, especially with the uh, president jokes of Ian basically saying, uh, the, "Oh, the, like the president is not doing anything," and then he gets the tick. It's like really homing in that presidents don't do anything. And it, and then and then once again, Ian's mom is just a phenomenal in this thing. And then the ending really caught me off guard. Like I don't mind the fact that Ian won uh, won once again, but it's just like. That one really caught me off guard. I, I, I'd actually put this one in S tier, either 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 low S, like it, it's either middle S or low S or high A. Like I don't know. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna put it low S, just under 2010 and 2012. But yeah, this is my ranking. As you can see, not a single one went into D and F. So that means that the percentage of uh, food battle is pretty high. So yeah, I'm very happy that Food Battle is back. Like Smosh said it themselves, we're so back. Oh, you guys are back. And I'm loving every second of it. 